We're going to break into our coverage because New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy is in Fort Lee this morning at Fort Lee High School talking about a proposed increase in the school funding budget. Let's listen in live as the governor is introduced. Thank you, thank you. What a treat. Thank you, Lauren. Uh, I'm honored to be here at Fort Lee High School, home of the bridge men and bridge women. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, Mark, I said to Mark uh, privately, uh, backstage as it were, that I think he invited me here five years ago. So I finally, better late than never, Mark. I finally <laughs> ma made it. Um, I want to thank the mayor for welcoming us and mayor for your leadership and friendship and support over these many years. Thank you again. What happened to Lauren? I lost you, Lauren. You're right here. Sorry, you're right up here with this. You should be. Uh, Principal Lauren Glenn for that introduction and through you to all the educators and staff here at this extraordinary school. It is always a pleasure to be among the members of our educational community who make collectively our state a national leader in public education. Uh, that includes Executive County Superintendent Joe Zara is with us today. Joe, great to have you. Fort Lee Superintendent Ken Rota, uh, God bless you and great to have you. Members of Town Council are here, members of the Board of Education. Honored, as was mentioned, to be joined uh, by our Commissioner of Education, Dr. Lamont Repolette. Uh, honored to have you with us. Congressman Bill Pascrell, where would we be without you? Uh, Senate Majority Leader Loretta Weinberg will be up in a few minutes, and I want you to note, Senator, Help is here. <laughs> we didn't let you down this time. I know you learned. <laughs> exactly. I listen, man. I listen. At Bergen County Executive, uh, the singular Jim Tedesco. So it's a treat again to all the other elected officials, members of the Board of Education, Town Council, uh, the whole team here, not just in Fort Lee, but in Bergen County, the educators, the staff. It's a treat to be here. There are several reasons why. Oh, Joan Voss is here representing the freeholder. Come on, Joan. <laughs> An educator in her own right. Yes, sir. You, you, this is not an accident that you're here, Joan. Absolutely not. Okay. I would this for I, God bless you. Uh, I would have, Joan would have spoken to me in her teacher's voice had I, not, had, I, uh, <laughs> had I neglected to introduce her. So bless you. Great to have you here. So there are several reasons why New Jersey's public schools have consistently ranked among the very best in the nation. One reason is our great educators. Another is committed staff and administrators. Third are families who put a premium on their children's education. And fourth is our tradition as a place that invests in public education, in our classrooms, in our kids, in our educators, in our professionals, in our future. The commitment of our educators and communities and our belief in our kids has never lessened. However, over the prior administration, the commitment of those in state office to invest in them did. And few places felt that abdication of duty more than Fort Lee. In the 2009-2010 school year, Fort Lee schools received $3.2 million in state aid. In 2010-2011, the next school year, for those of you who are keeping track, uh, they more than 2.8 million dollars of that 3.2 million dollars disappeared a loss of 90 percent in one year but over the ensuing years as fort lee's enrollment continued to grow the return of state aid did not keep up as a result as state aid slowly trickled back more and more of the weight was pushed onto local property taxpayers Sim similar phenomenon in nj transit uh, more of the weight borne by commuters, less of the weight by the state. Educational funding, same reality. Local communities had to pick up uh, a disproportionate share of the funding as the state uh, pulled back and took less. Now our administration is trying to take away some of that weight from you all. In our proposed budget, Fort Lee will be one of the districts that benefits most from our investment in the new state formula aid. A year-over-year -year increase of nearly 12% or an increase of $324,000. When added to the new aid delivered to Fort Lee through last year's budget, in our administration's first two years alone, we will have delivered more than $800,000 in additional, additional aid to Fort Lee, which is a 36% increase in just our administration's first two years. 
This is how we restore fairness to our districts, by restoring our commitment to the state's funding formula, by bringing communities that were unilaterally stripped of aid, districts whose property taxpayers were forced to make up the difference, back to par. We're making up for lost time, and there is still more for us to do. Ultimately, this is about our kids. This is about building the highly skilled workforce our state will need to compete and dominate on the world stage. Fort Lee students perform just as well as, if not better than their peers across the state in numerous areas. And frankly, I think you could say, Mark, with, with conviction and Lauren across the country, never mind uh, just across the state. Consistently, more than 96% of Fort Lee students graduate. They go on to great colleges and universities. They play inter intercollegiate basketball. They start good careers. And I know that which, of which I speak. One of, there's a little inside joke there for those of you watching at home. One of these graduates is with us today, Christine Lee. Christine, right there. A proud member of the class of 2013. Yeah. And I should add a former captain of the girls tennis team here who is now one of my press aides and a member of my communications staff, a bridge woman. Uh, Christine, honored to have you on the team. When we invest in Fort Lee schools, we're investing in our world-class workforce. That's what makes our investment in Fort Lee so important. That's why bringing districts who were unilaterally and systematically defunded under the prior administration, like Fort Lee, back to fair funding uh, and f a fair formula funding, and that's why it's so important. I'm proud of this investment we are making because in the end, Fort Lee's children and our future and their future are so important. Thank you again for being here. Thank you so much for hosting us so graciously. It is now my, my pleasure to introduce a guy, I don't know where we would be without him, fighting for our interests morning, noon, and night in Washington, Patterson's own, the one and only Congressman Bill Pascrell. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. And uh, it's a great day for Fort Lee and the towns of Bergen County. Um, you're proposing a 68.4 million increase in pre-K programs throughout the state. And thanks to our state representatives, like Loretta Weinberg, this has always been a priority. <clears throat> and now you have a governor that complements all the work that you've done. The uh, Fort Lee schools are going to receive an increase of 12 percent. We know from the record of this school district, Mayor Sokovich, and it's an honor to be in your city again. Honor to have you, sir. We know that you know how to spend your money, and your board knows how to spend the money. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I think that this is important and critical, because money alone is not the salvation or the solution to our educational problems. So as a former educator, Joan, <laughs> uh, I'm proud to be here today. Uh, even though we're off a few days, we're fighting over the weekend, and uh, of course other things were more important on the agenda over the weekend, and we, we pause for a second for that and a moment for that. Uh, but there are a lot of battles going on, in transportation, flood insurance, which is a joke. Uh, we have many battles ahead of us. And if we're going to find solutions to those problems, we're going to have to have everybody involved here, not just one party or the other party. Our educational system is the cornerstone of our society. It's the cornerstone of democracy. This is what strengthens. With all of its warts and problems, it's a strong educational system throughout this country. So wherever we go as a state, uh, as a country, as a civilization, depends first on the dedication to education, on the quality of our teachers, of our staff members. As a former educator, protecting our schools has always been particularly important to me. Uh, for us to succeed, we must have efforts and those efforts must be bipartisan. We must work as one when it comes to the education of our kids. We're all in the same boat, so any rising tide will lift us or lower us together. 
I believe our approach to ensuring education quality must be multifaceted. Good state schools begin in our own communities and then in Trenton. But we must receive strong federal support, coupled with the state prioritization of public education. It will not work any other way. And when we had uh, the major problems in our own federal budget last year, uh, we had enough distractions. Many of us planted those distractions to get enough money into the budget for education, and the, the state will, of course, recognize that. Uh, I work to fully fund preschool and after-school programs to modernize classrooms and reduce class size. It's been proven over and over again. It has an effect on outcomes. To improve at graduation rates, to do it honestly. To ensure that we have well-trained, highly qualified instructors, instructors in every classroom. We have done well. Good is not good enough when better is expected. As it is with our children, better is always expected in our schools. In Congress, my delegation colleagues and I will continue to make sure that New Jersey gets what's coming to us. Far too often, we don't get back from the Treasury what we put in. And you see that battle on all levels, including transportation and transit. When it comes to schools, that's not acceptable. We don't tolerate it and fight for every nickel for our schools. I strongly support Governor Murphy's commitment to public education. His prioritization of improving our schools can leave a more lasting mark on our state and our future than just about anything else we can put money into. So I know that he and our leaders in the legislature are working to ensure that none of our children are left behind by substandard schools. That can't just be a bumper sticker. Don't leave anybody behind. I can, I can promise you this. As long as I'm in Congress, I'll continue to work on these vital issues so that our children and their children enjoy the opportunity to learn from the best educational system. So I congratulate you, Governor, for making this truly a priority and not just talking about it. He's walked the walk. We've had problems in trying to fund this, problems with, uh, in the Senate, but they worked it out. We could do this if we keep talking to each other. I want to thank you, and I'm honored to be here with our distinguished uh, director, uh, leader in Bergen County, uh, uh, Jim Tedesco, who I taught many years ago. <laughs> and uh, at, least I had, at least I had one success, right? <laughs> when I look at all the towns in uh, Bergen and Passaic County and how they fared here, I think that this is tremendous. Tremendous. We should have, this is a true celebration day, even though it's a Monday, a little hungover from St. Patrick's weekend. <laughs> I'm not speaking for myself, but uh, <laughs> hey, it's a great day for Fort Lee and a great day for the state. Thank you, Governor, for being here. I'm a Murphy, so I completely appreciate that last point you made. Uh, I also want to welcome the chairman, chairwoman of the uh, the Board of Chosen Freeholders, Jermaine Ortiz, is with us, uh, sitting alongside Joan, so bless you. A very, before I bring up the commissioner, a very serious point, which I meant to say up front. Fort Lee is one of the most diverse communities in Bergen County and indeed in our state. Uh, its di diversity is exploding, and you all wear that as a badge of honor. In many respects, New Jersey is the most diverse state in the nation. We wear that as a badge of honor. Within that definition of diversity, we have, among other extraordinary communities, the second largest Muslim population in America, behind only the state of Michigan. And so we should have started with this, and I regret that I didn't. Uh, our hearts go out. We condemn completely and utterly the awful tragedy in New Zealand on Friday. Uh, our thoughts and prayers are with uh, the families of those who are lost to the injured, uh, and to our Muslim brothers and sisters right here in the state of New Jersey. Uh, we must stand forthright against any amount of uh, right-wing extremism, whether it's anti-Semitism, whether it's anti-Muslim, or whatever it might be. 
Uh, we wear our diversity, as I said, as a badge of honor. And we, ha we not only have to say that, but we have to live it, whether it's in law enforcement, in society, broadly, in the way we educate our young people. We have to stand out in this extraordinary uh, in these extraordinary challenging times. So with that, uh, it is my honor to introduce the commissioner of the Department of Education, uh, the one, the only, Dr. Lamont Repolette. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Governor Murphy, Congressman Pasquale, Senator Weinberg, County Executive Tedesco, Mayor Sokolich. Perfect. There you go. Perfect. Boom. And members of the Fort Lee School District, members of the Chosen Board Freeholders, and also Superintendent Rhoda. And it's great to be here today to discuss our administration's historic levels of school funding in the governor's proposed fiscal 2020 budget. Not only does Governor Murphy propose budget focus on stabilizing school funding, it also advances science and, techno and technical education and invest in preschool, as was stated earlier. These measures are crucial in ensuring that our 1.4 million students achieve post-secondary success, whether they're heading to college, trade school, the military, or choose other options after graduating. As you may know, the governor's proposed budget announcement comes on the heels of our high school graduation rate reaching a record high 90.9% last year, the highest level since states began using the new modif modified federal mandated methodology to calculate graduation rates in 2011. So let's give the state and our educators a round of applause. It's clear that real lives have been and continue to be improved by this administration's investment in education. So thank you, Governor. It is clear that Governor Murphy is living up to his promises of putting New Jerseyans on a path to fully funding public school education. And that's why agency is extremely proud to support a budget that builds on last year's success and focus on investing in children from the earliest years of their education through high school graduation and beyond. Thank you. All right. Well done. Short, sweet, to the point. The high school graduation, uh, you're all wishing for the same from all of us, I know. Uh, the high school graduation uh, achievement is a badge of honor. We're either yeah. number one or two in the country. Yes. Uh, we don't know yet because the numbers aren't all in, but we're at least number two, which is extraordinary. Uh, again, he, he runs this county the way that I wish the state could run. Uh, it runs in many respects like a finely tuned Swiss watch. Please help me welcome the County Executive of Bergen County, Jim Tedesco. First of all, let me thank the, the governor and, uh, and the legislature for putting education as a priority. Here in Bergen County, we have more school districts than any other county in the, in the state. And we have with us the superintendent of the county schools and Joe Zaro. Joe, thank Joe. you for coming. Also Essex, uh, he's, he does dual duty. Uh, but um, I, I also want to thank the teachers and the educators and the administrative staff for everything they do every day to make a difference in the lives of the young people of this county and this state. The people, the young people that go to this school are the future of this county, the state, and really the, the world. And uh, I only hope that as they get an education here in Fort Lee or in the 75 other districts that are here in Bergen County, um, they look at that as an opportunity to make a difference in this country and, and throughout the world. Because you just heard the governor talk about the tragic incident that took place in New Zealand. And, uh, and I believe that part of this is because of the rhetoric that is now moving around here in this country and around the world. And I'm hoping that the young people, while they look at the environment and they look at, uh, they look at uh, bringing people together, that they will see that they can make a difference. And that the education that they get here in Fort Lee and throughout Bergen County is going to make them better adults, but better leaders. And so I want to, again, thank the governor, the legislature, all the people that are involved in education, because you're truly making a difference in the lives of the people that, that are here, 
but I believe in the future lives of the people of this country and this world. So, Governor, thank you for everything you're doing to make this state a better state. Thank you. Thank you, man. Yeah, you referred to the rhetoric, uh, and I know there's somebody who lives in Washington who claims he doesn't think far-right uh, nationalism is on the rise, but uh, let me just tell you, in the state of New Jersey, tell that to the mosque that had their windows broken in North Bergen on Saturday, or to our extraordinary Jewish community where acts of anti-Semitism were up dub deep double-digit percent over last year, and that was up deep double-digit percent over the year before. Uh, People take their cue from the top, uh, and let's just make no no mistake about that. Um, this is if I if I said the county is one of the counties, one of the places that really hums, and we could learn a lot from Bergen County. We can learn a lot from Fort Lee. So a guy I've gotten to know over the past now about five years uh, is its leader, and it's my honor to bring up the mayor of Fort Lee, Mark Sokolich. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Governor. Congressmen, uh, commissioner, executive, senators, freeholders, dignitaries, um, we cannot thank the governor and the legislature enough for your commitment to public education. We in Fort Lee believe it to be the most single most important thing that we can do here and achieve in local government. But I just wanted to point out that you need resources to put this together, and you need the ability to mobilize those resources and devote them to the right areas in the best interests of the kids. And we have amongst, Governor, the greatest boards of education in the state of New Jersey, many of whom are sitting here with a phenomenal superintendent in Ken Rhoda. So we applaud you for doing what you do. And just one final thought, if, if you'll indulge me. On Saturday, Fort Lee lost an iconic former superintendent in schools in Alan Sugarman. He was a superintendent here for over 20 years. This was a man that devoted 24-7 to the borough of Fort Lee and the kids that called this place home. So I will tell you, Governor, you made that man incredibly happy by your visit today. So thank you very much, and thank you to everybody. Thank you. God, God rest his soul. I had to get my the stage management organized here. Um, it, it, you're, you're next. It, it, uh, thank you, Mark, and thank you for your leadership, and God rest his soul. Um, it, you know, there's this phrase, it takes a village, and no matter how good an idea you might have, no matter how much money you have in the kitty or you find, in our case, we saved, uh, we got a lot of this because we've saved money on some expenses. Uh, no matter how righteous you, you think you might be, it, it takes a, a, a coalition to get things done like this. It takes great local leadership. It takes, whether it's council, mayor, board of ed, it takes great county leadership, uh, freeholders as extraordinary as there are in the state, but it takes great leaders in the legislature in particular. Uh, and there is none greater, none more switched on, none, none more pro-public education than our next speaker, Majority Leader Senator Loretta Weinberg. You're all set there. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you to the field staff, <laughs> whoever arranged this. I, because I have to travel around the state with people the height of Governor Murphy and one of his partners. Uh, We've been listening to New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy and other elected officials at Fort Lee High School this morning of the governor proposing an investment in state aid to schools in his 2020 proposed state budget. The governor saying that New Jersey public schools rank among the best in the nation and to continue that trend, Governor Murphy says he wants to take the burden off of local communities and increase the amount that the state gives to public schools. He gave the example of Fort Lee schools that could potentially see an increase of 12% in state aid. Now, the governor says he is vowing to work with the state legislature to get a budget passed with the increase for state funding for education.